What's up, everybody? My name is Lehua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today, we are reacting to the faraway paladin. And if you like anime reactions, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you get notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got Patreon, channel membership, and merchandise. Link to those are below. We are reacting to the faraway paladin episode three. The last episode, we saw Gus testing out Will, and we saw some tidbits that secrets will be revealed. Yes. So we kind of got like backstories on the three undead people who have been raising Will. Apparently, they are well-known adventurers, I think, and they defeated someone or a god. Something happened. They were talking about having oats to gods, and it seems like they had oats to certain gods, and at one point they changed. And I'm hoping in this episode they're going to explain to Will why, what happened, and how they found Will. Go Will, do those pull-ups. Because, you know, I can't do pull-ups at all. I suck at pull-ups. I have horrible arm strength. Drinking? You guys are going to go drinking? Are you going to help Will develop an alcohol tolerance? Take a sniff. Huh. Where's the liquid gonna go? This is gonna be interesting. I always wondered how skeletons ate and drank. Is he really gonna drink? Oh, look, he's worried about him for when winter comes. When he's older. He's already talking about that Will's going to be away. Where is the liquid going to go? Where where'd it go? Where'd it go? Time to test your courage. Your courage? What kind of courage? He get merry wild change. <laughs> The hallway is thinning. Oh boy. Oh. I wonder how much he's drank. <gasps> She's really changing. She actually changes. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, that handprint is still there. I bet Mary is like, I did not raise you to be like this. Ooh. <laughs> Blood is like, is that? Oh, funny, 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 funny. I like how they're portraying him getting older, that he's going through puberty. I wonder if this is going to be a little foreshadow of his interaction with women later on in the season. See, they're talking about which god you'll swear your oath to. <laughs> that was really funny, though. How he's like, I can hide my presence. <laughs> and he just tumbled into the room. <laughs> But wouldn't that indicate that blood has a thing for Mary? But isn't it weird that he would share looking at his woman? 
Whatever. Fight! Well, looks like a girl. If you just look at the eyes and the hair. So pretty. Has pretty eyes. I wonder if all the guys in this series is going to have pretty eyes. Or all the adolescents. Bang! Blood is really fast for a big guy. Interesting how Will's only fighting as a warrior. He's not using magic at all. What's the answer? Charge! Here it comes. Use the shield. Jump on the sword. Oh, oh, he didn't jump on the sword. He just jumped and then tackled. Yo! What? 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 Wait! Cheat! Cheat! You promised you wouldn't use that trick again. He did that when he was alive. <laughs> so blood um has used this move before wow wouldn't that mean that he has a really good idea of how his anatomy is to know that the blade will go in between the ribs that's crazy it's the spirit little will You don't? Oh, that's cute. My goal was never to raise you as an imitation as me. Aw, blood is just setting up a foundation for him. He's calling them mom and dad. Cute, cute. <gasps> He's gifting him a weapon to mark his new independence. Ooh, <gasps> ooh, so fancy. So, this is what we saw in the post-credits on the last episode. If a living being is cut with this blade, his will to recover his life, of course, with each cut. Ooh, he recovers life force for every time he cuts a living being. Wow. It makes the wielder feel a lot stronger. Oh. Interesting.
I think you're worthy of someone of their faith. I think you are. Oh, it's time. You're like, you're ready. You're ready to know about us. You are grown up now. Tale of the king among demon kings who tried to conquer the continent. Known as the High King of the Eternals. Oh. Interesting. High King, not Demon King, not Demon Lord. King among kings. Purest evil. I wonder why they're called Eternals. Oh, there's a bunch of demon kings. That's why it's called King of Kings. <laughs> oh. Minions of a god. Oh, okay, okay. Well, gods were involved. High King went on a rampage on South Mark. So High King was at South Mark. Any blood he sheds into soldiers? Oh, didn't it make the High King look kind of normal? Only blades could harm him. Oh, wow. I like this story about the High King. It's sort of like the High King was someone who was easily defeated, but he just grew stronger over time. Wait, 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 this demon blade. Oh. Yeah, it was successful. You have the demon blade. Oh. What happened if you didn't succeed in killing him? Just made every factor. I can reveal his true nature. It is grotesque warrior. Kind of like evolved.
he's like, here's my true form. One level higher. Hmm. So once you're undead, you can't really level up. Interesting. You can't grow. You can't improve. You're stuck. Hiking was healed beneath the land. An echo of stagnant descended. Oh, interesting. Huh. Dagnet sounds complicated. This is so interesting. It's like no commentary necessary. Came the guardians of the High King's seal as the highest ranking undead. So you're still guarding the High King. I don't think the High King's ever going to leave with them guarding him. Where did Will come from? Humans brought you here. That's where he came from. <laughs> yeah, she just called you crew. <laughs> Oh, Gus was against the whole thing. <laughs> so, where Will came from must be nearby. If he was taken Oh 
will bring my family and friends to introduce them. Oh, cute. He's thinking in the future that he's going to come back and visit. Uh, which I don't think will ever, ever happen. <laughs> I didn't get that far in the manga. <laughs> I love ya. It's stronger. Oh, so cute. Oh. Yeah, they're like, he's like, why are you talking like this is our last goodbye? See, we called it. Bruh. Have you said your farewells, heroes? Place your souls in his hands? Mmm. Gus ain't leaving without a fight. Bruh, are you serious? They left the episode with that scene? Like, what the heck, man? I don't know if it's just me. Maybe you felt it too. This episode felt short. Like, to me, it did. I don't know why, but it did. Maybe it's because in the last episode, it felt like there were multiple scenes that were happening, and this one, it just felt like there were like one or two. That, that was just me. I do like how they revealed their story, how they got there. They explained more about gods, demons, and such. A lot of world building in this. And, oh, gosh. And we already saw Magnet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so good. Very, very good. And we didn't see Gus at all until the end. He was like, bam, I'm here. Here to rescue you with my magic. <laughs> and, you know, we already know the potential, the abilities of Blood and Mary. So, you know, they're going to be badass and such. But they already know that they were, you know, kind of about to give up their shows. They resigned themselves. And then here comes Gus, who's been silent the whole time. And I think... I think Blood and Mary are changing their because of this. I think. I'm not too sure. We'll find out in the next episode. But this is good. Let me know what you thought about this episode and what you thought about this video. If you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord link is in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash superfina. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where I talk about anime, manga, and other things we're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We're available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Superfina channel reacting to the Faraway Paladin episode 3. Hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Laters!